microphone converts the mechanical wave energy into electrical energy. The mechanical energy is the sound pressure level at the diaphragm of the microphone, and it is measured in decibel or pascals. The electrical energy is in the form of output voltage, and it is measured in millivolt or decibel volt. Therefore, sensitivity is the efficiency of microphone in converting the sound wave into output electrical voltage. The sound pressure level increases when the sound gets louder. So, for the same loudness, a higher sensitivity microphone will produce a higher output voltage. To be able to compare two microphones' sensitivity, the microphone manufacturers use one pascal sound pressure with a standard one kilohertz sine wave and then measure the output voltage. In Europe, this output voltage is directly classified as microphone's sensitivity and its unit is millivolt per pascal. In other words, it shows how much voltage you get for applying one pascal sound pressure. Sensitivity is also known as transfer factor. Therefore, I will use transfer factor to refer to the European sensitivity. In the USA, the sensitivity is a comparison between a hypothetically high efficient microphone and the transfer factor. The highly efficient microphone is assumed to produce 1 volt for 1 pascal applied pressure, which is same as 1000 millivolt per pascal. Therefore, sensitivity in decibel relative to 1 volt per pascal is equal to 20 times log to the base 10 of transfer factor divided by 1000. For example, if you would look at my Sennheiser MKE 600 shotgun microphone transfer factor to calculate the American sensitivity value, if you would look at the spec, you will find two different values. One with P48 phantom powering, which gives 21 millivolt per pascal, and a lower transfer factor of 19 millivolt per pascal with battery powering. It shows that the sensitivity changes with input powering. Using 21 millivolt per pascal and comparing it against a hypothetically high transfer factor of 1000 millivolt per pascal, we get a sensitivity of minus 33.56 decibel. Now, I will artificially increase the transfer factor of the mic from 21 to 50 millivolt per pascal, and you can see that its sensitivity has increased to minus 26 decibel. Note, the lower the negative value of a number means a higher number. You might be wondering how we got decibel while there was no decibel in the equation. This is because 1 pascal is equal to 94 decibel. The complete equation is SPL in decibel is equal to 20 times log to the base 10 of the ratios of root mean square sound pressure divided by reference sound pressure. The following components of the microphone affect its sensitivity. Number one, the reactiveness of the diaphragm to various sound pressure levels. Number two, microphone type, for example, whether it's a dynamic or condenser mic. Number three, and finally, the amplification of the audio signal within the microphone. The typical sensitivity of various microphones are as follows. Dynamic mic and passive ribbon mic is equal to minus 60 to minus 44 decibel relative to 1 volt per pascal. Condenser mic and active ribbon mic is equal to minus 42 to minus 30 decibel relative to 1 volt per pascal. Important to remember that a higher sensitivity doesn't necessarily mean 
a better quality audio. You need to select a mic with a sensitivity that suits your application. For example, if you're recording low volume sound sources, you need a high sensitivity microphone. Otherwise, in order to make the sound audible, you need to apply an amplifier, which in turn would create distortion to the output signal. In contrast, if you want to record a very high volume sound source, a high sensitivity mic could easily overload the pre-amplifier or mixer and hence producing distortion. High output impedance microphones have inherently higher sensitivity, but as I have mentioned in my video on output impedance, the higher the output impedance, the higher the risk for a worse quality audio, particularly if you are using a long audio cable connection. I hope this video helped you to better understand the microphone sensitivity. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. To learn more about microphones, please watch my other videos in here. And in order to support my channel, please don't forget to subscribe.